Well, greetings once again, my friends and my fellow lovers of the SS United States. I do have an update that was sent to me on August 22nd, 2024 at 10.38 p.m. And this is from the SS United States Conservancy. And this is from ssusc.org. There are a couple of update things to talk to you guys about. The race against time for the SS United States continues to tick down. But with your help, we are continuing to do everything possible to give our nation's flagship a future where she can be experienced by future generations and preserve and celebrate her history throughout our growing cultural collections and our future museum. We are reaching out to give you an update on our various efforts. In regards to the recent court hearing, earlier this week, the Conservancy argued in U.S. District Court that the significant difficulties associated with moving the 990-foot-long vessel, including an unusually active Atlantic hurricane season, made the court's September 12 deadline very challenging. While the court ruled that the original deadline stands, Judge Brody indicated that if the Conservancy enters into a contract to move the vessel to a new location by September 12th, she expects that a good faith negotiation be undertaken to allow the ship safe and proper relocation at a later date. Judge Brody also indicated the parties will likely be called back to court in early September to discuss their progress. Unfortunately, Penn Warehousing continues to mischaracterize the Conservancy's stewardship of the vessel in our serious efforts to comply with the court's order. We appreciate Judge Brody's openness to the ship staying at her current pier beyond September 12th should we secure a contract to move the ship by that date. While the ruling is a partial win for the Conservancy, our Board of Directors is now legally obligated to advance alternative scenarios for the historic ocean liner's future if a new pair cannot be found in very short order, including converting the ship into an artificial reef or recycling the vessel. In regards to the pier search update, our search for a temporary or permanent pier location continues with even, even more urgency. In the wake of the recent article about the Conservancy's effort on the front page of the New York Times and the full page advertisement to last Sunday's New York Times placed, thanks to the generous backing of an individual donor, we've received dozens of new leads and suggestions for potential peers from across the country and from international sources. We have also welcomed many new supporters, captivated by the story of America's flagship. At this time, we are preparing for a meeting with the highest levels of the U.S. Navy to discuss further potential temporary locations that could be available and suitable for the SS United States. The Conservancy also continues to conduct outreach many private pier owners and also held discussions at the highest levels in South Carolina, Massachusetts, New York, New Jersey, Maryland, Virginia, Georgia, Florida, Alabama, and other coastal states. While our deadline is rapidly approaching, we continue to explore all options to ensure no potential birth is overlooked. When it comes to the fundraising, the recent update is re relocating a ship the size of the SS United States is a complex and costly venture. It requires funds for insurance, tugs, surveys, and dock preparations to ensure the ship's safe passage to a new home, a campaign to pay for the potential move, and other important expenses now has crossed the $250,000 mark. Thank you. In addition, if we succeed in securing a new berth for the ship, two anonymous donors have committed additional pledges, totaling well into six figures. A combination of factors give us renewed hope and energy as we continue our work to find a new location for the ship, build our cultural collection, and advance plans for a museum. So as of right now, there are $250,000 donated so far. And in closing, their alternative scenarios are discussed. The Conservancy's highest priority remains locating a safe temporary or permanent location for the ship and ultimately her redevelopment as a dynamic stationary mixed-use destination. However, given the time constraints imposed by Penn Warehouse's eviction notice and subsequent court order, 
The Conservancy's Board of Directors is now legally obligated to further advance alteration options for the SS United States, including reefing or recycling the historic ocean liner. We can confirm that we are negotiating with two counties in Florida interested in converting the ship into an artificial reef in the Gulf of Mexico. While converting the vessel into a reef is clearly not our first choice for the future of America's flagship, it presents several advantages over scrapping the vessel, including the activation of our economic and tourism potential. Artificial reefs also enhance marine habitat and ecosystems. These plans are ECOM Pass Conservancy's future museum that would feature our archival and cultural collections and educate the public about the ship's historical importance. We are heartened by the party's appreciation of the historic nature of America's flagship. While we continue to work hard to save the, icon the iconic symbol of our nation, we have very little, very little time at hand. We remain deeply grateful to you, our global communities of supporters, for your steadfast commitment to the SS United States and her enduring and inspiring legacy. So that was the update from the uh, Conservancy. And that was from August 22nd of 2024. And my friends, I hope you enjoyed this little update. And I'll sure to bring you any other updates that I hear on this magnificent ship. So until my next video, my friends, thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you soon.